yesterday we fastened this one piece here in the back where's my pointing device down into that little hole right there and what I want to do today among other things is I've got to get this one right here fastened right there and the end of this one fastened right there you can sort of see where they're supposed to go and the way I think I'm going to try and do it is I'm going to sort of slowly bend everything the way it's supposed to go here now I don't know if I can do this or not on camera again but we'll just sort of move this forward you notice the other two ends are almost coming down where they're supposed to go maybe I should be using something else here try and squeeze this together just a little bit here I don't want to bend this because once once you bend them they're not straight anymore they never go back exactly the same way at least that's sort of my experience maybe I'll reposition a little bit here now because I want to be able to angle this thing around so it's best for me and still can be seen by the camera, I find that the helping hands are really good. But uh, what I've done here is on the, on the bottom I put a rubber washer so that the alligator clip won't be digging into the detail on the plastic there. And I think this is going to work out okay. We'll just get it swung around here and maybe a little bit up like this and uh, yeah then we'll move back in again okay as you can see we are almost there now this one here I think I could probably get it in the right spot and it might just stay there I do believe it is supposed to go okay I'm gonna to have to spring this forward okay, these these should be bent in just a little bit more maybe I could do it safer with my fingers Down. Now the idea, my thinking is, if I get it so that it will sort of catch in place. Okay, now there, that one's in place. I think maybe the smart, one, smart thing to do right now is to adhere that in place and then get the other one in place. Because in all likelihood, if I try to push this one in place, this one's going to pop out. Okay, I don't want to knock this out of there. I got kind of curious, what is it exactly that we're making here? And it turns out that these, uh, these booms or brackets or whatever you want to call them that are mounted on the side of that little uh, superstructure piece, 
they're actually lead in the where the lead in would go up to the antenna well you can see it here it's in between the two funnels not very clear but at least you can see what it's all about i guess when we get near the end of the build we'll probably be running easy line from the ends of these thing this thing up to the antenna at least i think that's what's going to happen I guess a little over an hour has passed here. I went and I took my camera and I edited out the uh, video that I just took, what you just saw actually. And uh, when I came back and was hooking up my camera, I guess I was a little careless here. And I have, uh, I guess I caught the cord on this thing. I'm lucky that I didn't break it right off. I didn't realize I did that until I just went to look at this to see you know, how did this come out? So, I'm trying to spring this over so that when we wedge it up into that, into the right spot here, maybe I'll use my uh, pointing device here. I'm trying to get the bottom of this one into this, into this spot right there. I think it should sort of just lock into place there. Oh, it's on the wrong side of it. I'm moving a little closer so you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm going to have to pull that back out of there. Now we'll try and get it in that little U-shaped box. Oh, it goes on the other side. That's there, I got it. Okay. Okay, that looks like it's good to me. I'll give it another hour or so. I'm guessing about half an hour has passed here now. I'll move in later. I'm supposed to go in that socket is supposed to this this person is supposed to socket into that square hole. And um, maybe if I was to angle this just a little bit differently here, we could uh, let gravity be our friend. I'm gonna readjust. Now, is this a piece of dust or a piece of plastic that got stuck on there? Probably a piece of plastic. How many tries is this going to take? Okay, I think I will use CA right there because we know that uh, Extra Thin does not stick to Photo Etch. But maybe the thing to do is to get get this one glued in right here. I don't know if it's all the way in or not. I'm thinking that perhaps if I was to angle this up just a little bit here, try not to shake it, and that way the upright piece is pushing more into the hole. 
and I'm just gonna just touch the bottom. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, here I go again. Now, what I was trying to do was come up from behind and see if I can. Uh, well, maybe if I was to put a little bit of extra thin right there, it would sort of meld itself into place. Because right now the, the peg is slightly bigger than the hole. You know what, I should be moving in so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I think you're close enough now that you can see that that square peg is not all the way down into that square hole. And I'm hoping that now what's going to happen is I'm going to give it about a minute and then maybe I can just sort of push it back in, push it down into the hole just a little more. Not that it won't hold like it is right now anyway. Okay, probably three or four minutes has passed here, or whatever it took me to change the battery in my camera. I have four batteries for my camera. They're, they're numbered and I just cycle through them. Maybe if I was to push down carefully on the top here. Yeah, that went in. It also twisted. Yeah. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm grabbing hold of the top here. Now you see how that's sort of welded in place there? I think once that uh, once that dries out, that's going to be a fairly strong little fit. And then we'll worry about the uh, CA connection at the top here. I'll move back in in a minute here. I just wanted you to get a perspective here of what's happening. Okay, we want to glue this piece of photo etch here under this piece that we just glued in. Uh, this this connection down here may not be 100% uh, dry, but it'll be strong enough that it'll allow us to, you know, fool around here. I, I do believe I'm going to have to flatten this part of the photo etch out against this boom or whatever it is that comes out. Um, I'll move back in again. Okay, all being well, you should be able to see that this photo etch piece is not flat up against the bottom of this piece of plastic here. Now, I'm, maybe I should have done this before. Maybe if I was to just take it like this. Is that going to work? Whoops. Okay, I think it's better. Now if I can get a little bit of CA in there between the two. Okay, I just looked in my monitor and <clears throat> It appears that it should have been bent just a little bit more yet. I'll try and get the tweezer in there. Okay, let me look in the monitor now. Yeah, that's better. It's a little bit too much the wrong way. Just shove it up. There we go. I think I got it. Should it maybe come this way a little bit? No, 
it's uh, it's already cured. It's not going no place now. Well, the day is getting on here, folks. Starting to get a little bit junky here. Um, this is at the place now where I can't just grab hold of it any old way at all. What? Why don't we just stick it on the rotator here and we'll have a nice look at it. I want to make sure it's not going to fall over and break. Hmm. Blue tack anybody? I think I'm going to be doing the other side exactly the same way. I won't be videoing it because we've already seen this side and it's just going to be, well, as I said, exactly the same way. Anyway, maybe I'll work on it a bit this evening and we'll look at it tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.